What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay from Brother Cuss's Toy Reviews, and that's right, I'm back with another one. Today, I got something real special for y'all, and I got it from, that's right, you guessed it, Pop Collectibles. They got it here in record time. I got no complaints. So, boom, this is what we'll be reviewing today. This bad boy, MMS 556 Mysterio from Spider-Man Far From Home by Hot Toys. Let's check it out. Okay guys, so here's all the accessories that comes with Mysterio. First up, we're gonna look at these little effects right here, these little magical Illuminati effects with the eye right there. They look real cool. They kinda are reminiscent of Doctor Strange and they kinda work the same way as the Doctor Strange uh, 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 mystical effects worked. You can, um, I think they fit right here on the hands. So yep, you can just click them on the hands right that. And they're a forced thing. So they come out, well, it's not doing it too well right there, but you get how it works. And it's two of those like that. So you get two of these and they look awesome. Speaking of the hands, we have a couple of hands right here and they look fantastic. This little gauntlet right there, all the little silver bits and all the little uh, ribbles that's on the bottom of the fingers. Look at that green that's on the bottom of the fingertips. These gloved hands are simply amazing. I knew you guys, I know you guys are tired of my simply amazings, but I'm sorry. That is simply amazing. Straight up. Um, you have a fist in hands, same, same type of thing. You know what, if you've seen hands before, you know what they look like. All the little gold bits there on the, on the, uh, on the knuckles and on the top part of the hands look very cool and very good. Um, also you get these little shoulder pieces right here. Um, these shoulder pieces right here actually clip on the, uh, uh, chop part of um, the top part of the um, what is that called the top part of his vest so if you you know if you want to have him sitting with Peter the way that he was sitting in the movie where you want to remove the cape you can use these parts to remove the cape um, and attach these so that's how that works and of course you get two of those those little clampy pieces right there um, you also get a base take a look at the base and the base is very cool, has Mysterio on it. It's a regular Hot Toys base, nothing spectacular, but you do see the little mystical Mysterio effects right there on it. The green and the smoke looks cool, looks good. And of course you get a flight stand with this figure because you want to have him levitating above the smoke. Speaking of the smoke, you get these smoke effects right here, and these looks good. It's like a translucent type of green with uh, white hits of white all through it to give it that smoked out effect. And it looks cool, especially this one right here. This, pe um, this portion is a little bit bigger and you can just fit that around the base uh, like so and that just looks cool. That's gonna be a real good display. Now, this is one of the figures that, you know, I would like to display pretty much by himself in the Detolf. He really doesn't need to be by anyone else because so much good effects and accessories come with them. Last but not least, we have, boom, the Jake Gyllenhaal head sculpt. And we have never seen this. Um, last week, they came out and just surprised everybody with this Jake Gyllenhaal head sculpt. And I think it looks, that's right, straight up 
amazing. <laughs> I think it looks great. I know some people are saying that it doesn't look like Jake Gyllenhaal. I don't know what you guys are looking at. Let's look close. That's Jake Gyllenhaal, y'all. That looks like Jake Gyllenhaal. It's not 100% on point, but it is close enough. It looks good. You look at the hair. Hair is really cool. See that part right there? And this thing is well sculpted. Hot Toys really surprised us with this. I didn't think that we would get this uh, in the box. I didn't think we would get this at all. Um, and with them announcing it, yeah, it comes with a head sculpt. Oh yeah, and it's out. Was, yes, I'm gonna say it, simply amazing. So that looks good. Can't wait to display him with this. Now that we've seen all the accessories, let's move on to the figure itself. And here he is in all his glory, Mysterio from Spider-Man Far From Home by Hot Toys. Oh my God, this figure is awesome. I mean, goodness gracious. The fishbowl right here just is amazing, guys. I mean, just the paintwork on it. I know it has that seam around it, but it looks good. The cape is just amazing with all the tech, all the texture and all the little different glyphs that's on it. And the armor, oh my goodness, the armor is just amazing. It just harkens back to the comic book, um, harkens back to the video game. I know some people want to use this in their Spider-Man, uh, Sony Spider-Man uh, video game figures. They actually want to use, they're thinking of using this version of Mysterio for that because it's just so close to what we got in the video game and, and what we got and what we get in the comic books. Just great, just a all, all around amazing figure. All right, as we go in for a closer look, you could just see all the effects and the smoke effects that's all in the fishbowl. It looks great. I know it has that seam right there, and if you guys are familiar with the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, Stan Lee, who had the uh, who had the spacesuit, he also had a seam around the dome as well. Um, you know, when they do these head sculpts, they actually do them in two pieces, so they glue them together. So that's why you have that seam there, but I don't even mind the seam at all. I think it looks great. The smoke effect that's inside seems to be painted, um, with also with some type of a, a sculpt that's in there of just like smoke with a print that's on the outside of the dome, which just give it a real in-depth, deep smoke effect, and it just looks great. When I, I can't wait to do the lighting effects on uh, the lighting effects on this, just to see how everything looks. So we look at the vest portion right here and the little uh, tunic. Well, the capes, the snap-ons to the capes just look great. All the little glyphs and uh, ruins and different uh, folds that's in the cape just looks simply amazing. Uh, the suit that's up underneath, just great. It is kind of, it is like that flexi type of uh, Spider-Man type of uh, suit that's underneath it, but it does look like it's going to give you a little more flexibility in the articulation. Um, the gauntlets right there looks good. I'm telling you, this thing is just a feast for the eyes, guys. I can go on and on and on about it because it's just so much detail all throughout the costume. It's just amazing, man. Just an amazing piece. Like I was saying, these gauntlets right here, these little effects right here that's on the chest, they do light up, but only with a black light, so they don't, it's not a switch that lights up. That's not part of the light up function, which is kind of sad, but overall, still very good. Okay, now I wanna do the lower part of the figure. You see the boots, and those boots are split cup boots, and the articulation is once again, simply amazing. Looks good, looks dope. Just look at all the folds in that cape, looks great. As I was saying, the articulation is seamless and it looks great, y'all. All right guys, it's that time where I get handsy with the figure. Okay, right now, let's look at the head. The head on the fishbowl turns to the left the articulation is not quite there. It's not that much articulation, and it, it does turn a little bit, little bit. I mean, you you really don't have to turn his head too much, but you get that much from it. 
the arms do bend out. As I was saying earlier, this is that type of a uh, stretchy material that most of the Spider-Man suits have, but I will say it's a little loose, so it gives it a little bit more flex in the articulation and it looks good. So you don't gotta worry about it doing too much creasing, but you will get some creasing. So the arms go up like that, arms go up like that. Boom, so you can do that. That's pretty great. I mean, I wasn't expecting to have that much of a look at that. Damn, that's a lot of good articulation there. Um, let me see if you get a crunch. You do get a little crunch. You have this area cut out. I think it was made like that in the movie for that reason. <laughs> so Jake Gyllenhaal could have some, uh, so he could sit up and sit down. That's good. Legs kick out. Legs don't kick out, but so much. And you do get some creasing right there in the crotch area, as you can see. So the articulation, yeah, he could kick out about that much. He really wasn't doing any real big kicks when he was in this costume. All right, let's look at the uh, leg. The legs do bend like that, so you can have him doing flight poses as such. Look at that. That looks good. And as I was saying about the ankles right here, you do get that ankle pivot. So he can, you can move the ankles, you can move the ankle down like that to look like he's flying. And it's real seamless. See, look at that, look at that works. Looks good, works great. Yep, articulation is great. So yeah, that's pretty much it with the articulation. I wasn't expecting a lot of articulation from this figure, but he's pretty, I mean, he has a real good amount, a good amount of articulation. Okay guys, so that's been my review of Mysterio from Spider-Man Far From Home by Hot Toys. In my opinion, I think they knocked it out the park. I think it's a 10 all the way. The costume is amazing. The Jake Gyllenhaal head sculpt is great. The accessories are great. The light up effects in the fishbowl dome is awesome. Uh, the, the lighting effects on the chest could be better. You know, you have to do the black light stuff and everything, but it's not a deal breaker. All in all, it's a great purchase. I mean, let's face it, Hot Toys doesn't make that many Marvel villains, so you gotta jump on this one. Who knows when we'll see it again or if they'll make any more. Anyway, guys, that's been my review. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, bang that bell for notifications and all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Peace, and we are out.